I hope everyone's doing okay and staying safe and healthy. I'm going to do a read aloud today for you. It is my all-time favorite. I've read it to you guys before, but I felt like reading it again. And I have so many more that I can read to you back here behind me. I also have Libby <laughs> behind me. And my cat Moon is around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. But anyways, I'm going to read The Night I Followed the Dog Today by Nina Layden. I have a dog. Nothing exotic or special, just an ordinary dog. In fact, I always thought he was a boring dog. What I mean is he can fetch, roll over, and shake hands, but mostly he sleeps and eats. I used to think that our next door neighbors had the best dog in the world. Their dog can sing and change the channels on the TV. Their dog always wins medals in obedience school, but I don't think their dog is so great now. Not since the night I followed my dog. Every night I let my dog out and he runs off into the darkness with his tail wagging. The next morning I let him in and he heads straight for the food bowl. But one morning, I knew something was funny when I opened the door a little bit earlier than usual and I saw my dog jump out of a limousine wearing a tuxedo. Before I could look twice, he disappeared into the backyard. I opened the kitchen door and whistled. When he came into the house, he was the same as he always is, hungry. I really wasn't sure that I believed what I had seen, so that night, I decided to follow him. I wore dark clothing so I wouldn't be noticed, and I left my bicycle near the door so I'd have it close by. When I let the dog out, I slipped out too. I took out the garbage so he wouldn't suspect anything. The dog went straight to his doghouse. I saw a light go on inside. Slowly... I snuck around the backyard and peeked into the doghouse. This was not the doghouse that I had helped build. Inside, there was a living room, a bathroom, and a huge closet full of fancy clothes. The dog was in the bathroom. He was wearing a tuxedo and fumbling with his bow tie. When he came out, he casually walked out of the doghouse, across the yard, and down the street. I grabbed my bicycle and followed him. Two blocks later, I saw a limousine pull over. The dog got in and the car took off. I started pedaling faster. The car headed across town. I thought I would lose him, but luckily they were stopped by a few red lights. After a while, I found myself in a part of town that I had never seen before. The buildings all seemed to be empty and it was very quiet. The limousine stopped. I hid and I watched my dog get out. He disappeared into a building and the limousine pulled away. There was nothing on the outside of the building, just two brass fire hydrants on either side of the entrance. I opened the door. At the end of the hall, there was a neon sign that said, the dog house. I crept closer. It looked like some kind of club. I decided to get a closer look. The moment I opened the door, two mean-looking bulldogs opened and said, You can't come in here. I didn't know what to say, so I said, But, 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 I, I saw my dog. I mean, I think my dog's in here. Just then, my dog walked over and said, It's okay, boys. He's with me. The bulldog said, Sure, boss. Whatever you say, boss. For a minute that seemed like forever, I waited. Then my dog said, I knew you would find out eventually. Well, now you know, this is my place. I looked around. Finally, I asked, what is this place? My dog said, this, this is a place where dogs come after a hard day. It's a place where we can relax. It's a place where we can talk about our problems with the mailman or the poodle next door.
See all the sofas? We can sit on the sofas here. We can get treats without having to lie down, roll over, or play dead. And if we want to chew on a shoe or chase our tail, no one will stop us. We have no masters here, no leashes, and no rolled up newspapers. This, this is a place where dogs can be dogs. We sat down. A cocker spaniel came by and asked me if I would like a little bowl of water or some biscuits. Little by little, dogs of all kinds started coming in. Some danced, some talked. They all looked at me a little funny, but when they saw who I was with, they smiled and shook my hand. At one point, my dog waved to an Afghan with a camera. She came over to our table and took a picture of us together. Being with my dog made me feel like a movie star. Just when I was really starting to enjoy myself, I looked at my watch. I told my dog I have to leave or I'd get in trouble. He nodded. I think he was about to say something, but a glamorous greyhound grabbed his paw and whisked him onto the dance floor. As he was getting up, he tossed me the photo of the two of us. Then he bowed slightly and disappeared into the crowd. It was way past my bedtime. As I pedaled home into the cool night, I thought to myself, now I'm really going to be in the doghouse. But then again, that might not be so bad. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed it and look forward to the next one. Bye!